What's up, good people? What's up, good people? It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr. Coming to you from the lab. Y'all see that? JNF Enterprises coming to you from the lab. And we've been talking about it all week. We've been talking about building a successful value business strategy for 2023. We want you, what does your business in 2023 look like? Do you have the vision? You got to see it. Do you have the purpose? Do you have, you have to write it? Do you have the brand? You got to work it. How do you work your brand? And today we're going to talk about how do you maintain it? How do you maintain it? How do you sustain it? It's more than just about having the business. And and that's one of the things that prompted me when I first started my business was, was about um, not just starting a business, but being able to maintain the business. Um, because there's so many books, there's so many... Um, workshops, webinars, and all of these things out here. So many people talking about how to start a business. You can go to the library, get plenty of books. You can go to plenty of of consultants. They'll show you how to uh, start a business. But the question is, um, what do you need to do in order to be able to maintain it? What do you need to do in order to be able to sustain it? And, and that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about sustainability. Does your business have sustainability? The, to my entrepreneurs, and, and even for those that, that may have charted out a, a, um, a career for yourself, you know, how do you create sustainability um, in being able to move from one position to the next position or one level to the next level? Because entrepreneurship isn't for everybody. I'll say that again. Entrepreneurship isn't for everybody, but I think the the principles that I'm giving, um, that I've been giving this week, I think can apply for building a sustainable career. So, um, you know, in order for you to do that, you got to have a plan. You you got to have a way in order to be able to get you to where it is that you want to be. And without that vision, without the plan, you can't. You don't create uh, and and work in it. You don't create that sustainability, and that's what we're talking about today. Is is sustainability is and and maintaining being able to keep those doors open. Now we went through and still going through um, the the pandemic, and things have uh, are starting to open back up, and we're getting more you know more and more back together. Even though that there's been this spike um, back in in COVID and stuff, but uh, and we still need to be careful and we got to be diligent about it. But uh, at the same time, um, building your business, uh, the sustainability behind it is is key, whatever it is. And here are three things I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about really quickly and then and then I'm, I'm done, y'all. Um, but sustainability takes a firm foundation. It takes consistency. And the last thing it takes character. I'm going to say that again for you. Sustainability takes, if you're going to sustain it, it's going to take a firm foundation. A uh, It's going to take consistency. And it's going to take character. And here, here's the thing. There's not one building that was built without a firm foundation. Not one. Find me one building that does not have a firm foundation. And what we find out, any building that does not have a firm foundation can't stand. Hey, 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 Pastor Mo, how you, lady? Good to, good to see you. Happy New Year to you. Thank you. Good to see you. Ha- Doc, Dr. LaVon, hey, how you? Um, but those three elements, we're going to start with those. You got to have that firm foundation. You, you got to have the consistency. And then you've got to have, <clears throat> as me and my, my good brother, uh, Dr. Don, uh, Don uh, talked about yesterday, you've got to have character. <clears throat> because if you don't have those three pieces to it, it won't last. It won't last. Um, let's start with the firm foundation. Having a firm foundation gives you uh, stability. It gives you an anchor. 
to be able to hold yourself on and, and to be able to build off on, you know, um, any any person that we when we talk about people, we talk about buildings at who we are at our core, who we are at our core is it gives us who, you know, how it will show you how strong someone is. Take a look at, at the at people that are in your space and ask yourself, do they have a strong foundation? Do they have a firm foundation? Who are they at their core? Who are they at their core? And and that will show you whether or not they're able to weather storms. Same thing with our businesses. Who is, what is your business at its core? Going into 2023, what is your business at its core? Does it have um, the core business principles that it needs and in order to be able to um, go and last decade after decade after decade after decade. If you look at any successful uh, business that has been here for years, look at its core. Look at its foundation. Look at look at the foundation of that business. I promise you. I, and I worked for I worked for the Marriott Hotels um, coming out of school, and and one of the things that was ingrained in us was the one the history of the Marriott their story and and everything that we did as a corporation as an organization we did because of the principles and and the the philosophies that Mr. Marriott the original I guess the great great grandfather because it goes back at least I think it was a, at least three to four generations at least three to four generations. But there was that foundation that was put in there because of the principles. My, my, my uh, mentor, Dr. Will, talks about being having your business grounded in principles because when you get a pandemic, when you go through a, a, a rough patch, what you will have to be able to fall on or be able to hold on to and use all those principles. And I'm going to talk about next week. I have an idea. I'm going to use the principles of an MVP um, business next week. But but in order to be able to sustain and maintain who you are as a business and even as an individual, you've got to have that firm foundation. The second thing is, is you got to be consistent. Being consistent is... Uh, it is a moniker of, of anyone that's successful. Take a look at them. The, being consistent. So 2023, you've got to be about being consistent. Do it <laughs> Do it when you don't want to. That's, that's what I've learned about me with my exercise and even me with, with my business. I've learned that I have to be able to perform. I have to, I have to be able to do things. Even when I don't feel like it, even when I'm dead tired, that's when I really got to focus and do it because that's that's when discipline kicks in. Discipline and consistency to me go together. Discipline is doing what you what you don't want to do when you don't feel like it. It's easy to do things when you feel like it, but it's those times that you don't feel like it is when that discipline kicks in. I don't feel like walking today, but I go walk. I don't feel like getting this paperwork done today, but I get it done. I don't feel like taking this meeting today, but I take it anyway. I do those things because I want to be consistent. Your, your, your clients will thank you. Your business will thank you <laughs> when you are consistent because it's in, those, it's in those consistent days, those consistent times that you build your business because that's what people will remember you for. He showed up. She showed up. They did what they said that they were going to do in spite of. 
and, and I and I, I I remember um Michael Jordan playing it was a playoff game and I forget what year it was, but he had the flu and he went out and he played anyway. Because he he knew how important the game was, not only to him, but to his teammates. And I believe he dropped 40 in that game, too. But he showed up even when he could have easily said, yeah, I'm Michael Jordan. I just I'm not feeling it today, coach. I can't go. But he pushed through. We pushed through those moments. And that's what consistency is. It's pushing through those tough moments. That's that's all consistency is pushing through those tough moments. And and the third one, like I said, is 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 um is credibility. Do you do you operate in credibility? Or oh, character, I'm sorry, not credibility, character. Do you operate in character? And, and I was I had a conversation yesterday with, with one of my um my brother's uh, associates and we were talking about that. At the end of the day, what is your what is your character like? When, when, with your business, sustainability, consistency, being maintained, being able to maintain who you are, what you do, how you do it, your brand, and what people will say about you has to do with your character. When, when, when your character shows up before you do, you will create sustainability because people will know this is somebody that I can count on. That was what I just talked about with Michael Jordan. His teammates, because of his character that he had, they knew, yeah, if he can show up and got a 105 fever and play like that, oh yeah, I got no excuses for being able to do my part. And, and that's what we have to do in order to think of any any successful business that has been around for decade after decade after decade. Character. And, and I also think about Chick-fil-A. It, it's char- the character of its owner. He says, you know what? I know everybody else is is open on Sundays. I know that everybody else. You know, uh, one of the biggest days for us could be Sunday. But the core of who I am says that I am, you know, I'm going to have my business closed on Sunday. Because not only for me, but for my employees as well, too. We're we're just not going to do it. And I promise you, they could be, they could make so much more money on Sundays. But for them... That character says, you know what, it's not about the money for us. It's about who we are and and being uh, honorable about who we are, being on on, paying honor to who we are. And they still they still got lines, (laughs) y'all. Chick-fil-A still got lines, y'all. Folks still lined up every single day to go to Chick-fil-A. The busiest day of the week, they closed. <laughs> and they say, you know what? Nah, we're we not doing it. That's character, y'all. That's character. Marriott operating at, at a standard that says, look, we, we operate at a, at a five-star, four-star, five-star service and what we do, what we bring to those that that come and stay with us. And they've built that loyalty with those clients that they have and come and stay at a Marriott. Because I promise you, those that stay at Marriott's and go to Marriott's, you know, they know. You you operate at a at a standard that, that puts you that puts them above everybody else. So that's that's what you want to to be as well. If you want to have that sustainability, if you want to maintain your your business for years, you want to not just open the doors, but you want to keep the doors open. Because like I told you, the the thing about it's not just about starting business. People have started over the last what uh, three years. There have been thousands, if not millions, of businesses that have started. But the question is. How many of them have sustainability? 
how many of them have uh, a firm foundation? How many of them have consistency? How many of them have character? Those those three things will I think will I know will give you and and give you the ability to maintain your business, give you the ability to be able to sustain it, and and be uh, who it is that you want to be um, in business. So these 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 principles, and I started with the Kwanzaa principles. Those principles should be what your business is grounded in. But but you want to have these core things that you that you are working on and have all year long so that when people talk about you, your business, your brand, they talk about, you know what, they, they got a firm foundation, they, they, they're really grounded, they're consistent, and they have character. When we operate in that, I believe you'll have a successful um, value business. And I told you this year it's about creating value. In 2023, how you create value, not only creating value in yourself, your business, your brand, but creating value in those that you encounter, that you have an encounter with, that have the encounter with you. How do you create value in them? Make them, as I say, make them better. Y'all know what my mission is, is to make you better by the end of the year than, than you were at the beginning of the year. And hopefully by doing these things, giving you this, these bits of information that you can use to be able to pour into you, pour into your business, pour into those that are in your circle of impact, you'll, you, you will come away better. And people will, when they think about you, they think about your business, they think about your brand, they'll think about your firm foundation, they'll think about your consistency, and they'll think about your character. It's your boy. Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the impact builder. We in 2023, y'all. We going hard. We are 12 days in to 2023. Um, I'm gonna give a special shout out. Hope y'all don't mind. Today is my my is my big sister's birthday, Larissa Neal. I love her to pieces. She has been the shining example for me um, because she um, she was a she's an entrepreneur she does her thing and like I told her sent her a message this morning she is the example of intelligence of of integrity um, and excellence so when y'all hear me talking I'm talking about people that are that have I've seen as an example for me of what I want to be and what I want to be able to do as I do what I do. So shout out to to my big sister. Love you to pieces. Happy birthday. Enjoy that. And enjoy your special day. You know, we 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 Capricorns, we celebrating all month. So, <laughs> so enjoy your day. I want everybody to go out um and, and maintain it, y'all. Let's maintain it. Let's maintain it today, y'all. Let's maintain, sustain it. Put it out there. Make sure that you on this on this think different Thursday, think differently on this Thursday, how to create that firm foundation, be consistent, and then your character. And we'll talk to y'all soon. We'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Let's see soon. We'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Have a great, great, outstanding day. Yes, uh, Pastor Mo, thank you so much. <laughs> Good, good. I'm glad you stopped by too. I appreciate you. You know, I appreciate you so much. You and you and Cap, thank you so much. And we will see y'all tomorrow. Have a great, great day. We'll talk to y'all tomorrow.